on sailing Catalpa. We tie up to careening poles for the first time and install a new transducer. So I just got a phone call from the Indonesian consulate. Our visas are ready to pick up, so the kids and I are going to go into town and pick up our visas. We applied for a 60-day social visa, which took about a week to process. You can do visas on arrival into Indonesia, but we weren't sure that we could get the 60-day visa, so we opted to do it at the Indonesian embassy before we left. So something arrived in the post yesterday. What was it? Oh, what have we here? We have an ah. Iridium sat phone. So thanks to some very loving people in our lives, um, they very generous, generously bought us an Iridium Go. So that's amazing. It's going to uh, be so helpful having internet and having weather. Oh, the weather's going to be amazing. We'll actually we're, know what's coming. Yeah, we, we don't have to guess. Three-day force Aesthetic, pass no. on a seven-day passage it doesn't yeah. really help. Yeah, so we're very, very grateful right now, and um, we're very close to leaving Darwin. Should be within days, hey, Captain? Yep. We got our yes. visas yesterday, so we're all good to go. We're just going to let Border Patrol or Customs know when we're leaving, and... Um, we're good. So today's jobs are uh, install. Oh, look at that. Already no, got. That was actually. Um, it was actually on our list, but it wasn't in our budget. So as Sarah said, some uh, loving people helped us out a lot there. Yes. And we're so very grateful. And you guys can also, um, we'll be able to leave a trail. You'll be able to track us. So we don't know how that'll work yet, but I think we'll be able to put up on our website or somewhere, maybe on Facebook, where we are. Obviously it comes with an external antenna, which will be this, that will be mounted outside so I can leave the actual Iridium head unit inside mounted and we'll have reception as opposed to just having the unit on its own and obviously this boat especially being two inches thick, um, doesn't like to send a message outside really easy. So um, yeah, that'll be handy, we'll put that outside. We won't need to move this one back and forth. Just one thing I like to do with all the fittings and whatnot. Just a little bit of that and it just seals up, stops, you know, moisture salt, whatnot getting in there. Self amalgamating tape, brilliant. Even though it is out of the weather anyway, it's just one of those things you don't want to fail. The other night we've had a bit of a clunk. We had a bit of rough weather here at the anchorage. It's a bit rolly. And our snubber, which was sort of a nice elastic one, sort of snapped on us. So it's just chafed away on our bow roller. So that one was good because it had an elastic in it. But anyway. I'm not going to buy another one of those. Um, so I just had a bit of rope. So I've got that that goes around our cleat. That there stopped chafing over the roller. And there's our hook. So that's our new one. So that's what I've been doing. So Lee and Bella are just going over to fix our tender. Our tender is falling apart. So they're going to go fix it. Alright, so Bella and I are on a little job here. She's uh, been getting a bit of a hiding lately, so we're going to try and glue all this back together. And Bella was a little bit strong, so she just grabbed this handle and ripped it off the other day. But we're here anyway, at the Darwin Sailing Club. We just found ourselves a little bit of shade. And in the far distance out here you can see Katowpa, I think it's like the last boat out there. And we're going to clean this up. That's the one I'm worried about. I don't really want to be having the side of the boat fall off in these croc infested waters. Hey Belle. <laughs> Let's go 
going on there, Belle? I'm just cleaning the old glue off. So dad has cleaned it all nicely. So it's quite simple, just uh, mixing up the um, two part adhesive here. Uh, give it a good little mix. Um, seemed to work quite well, we just applied two coats over the surfaces. Uh, let them dry for half an hour. Sit and wait for the glue to dry for half an hour. So we are mixing our last coat it has been half an hour and we are ready to do our next painting so this is just a two pack contact adhesive easy just mix together the two parts and away you go With the tubes inflated, we just press down firmly. And now, for the final one. So after our hard work was done in the hot sun in Fenny Bay, Bella thought it was a great idea to go to the bar and get a cold drink. Here's baby girl. Come on, old man, you're gonna make me pull the tender down all by myself? It is uh, Tuesday morning and we're still in Darwin. You can see behind me there is no wind. It's um well, it's actually my birthday today, and it's the last day of October, so 31st, and from November on, it's pretty much the doldrums, or well, the rainy season, the wet season, and the winds change, and seasons change, so we are running a little bit behind schedule, not that we had a schedule, but we're running behind the time to go to Indo with the winds, but um... So we're all ready to go, we've got everything sorted, we've got our visas, we picked them up the other day and we're just waiting now for some wind to go the right way. So I think our plan, there is supposed to be a bit more wind at the end of the week, so we will, we've got a few more parcels we're waiting on that should arrive today, tomorrow, hopefully, latest Thursday. and. And then we're heading off, so then we're on our way to Indonesia. Um, yeah, so today I uh, turned 34. It's my 34th birthday. I don't know what they have in store for me today, but apparently there's plans to go and do something fun. I uh, got breakfast made for me, and they're now cleaning up, so that's nice. It's really hot. Uh, I think there may be a storm but it's really hot. We're gonna go ashore and go do something, something fun for my birthday. Hip hip. Hip hip. Hooray. 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 Hip hip.
Hooray! Gotta blow them out, Mama. Okay. Happy birthday, Mama. Thanks, family. So we just had a crazy storm come through in the last 10 minutes. We've got 45 knots. 45 knots of wind. So I was expecting turns about our shade cover, but it seems to be holding in at 45 knots, so the thing is crossed, it just dies off. It's just the front of the storm, so... <laughs> Hi guys, so it's um, Thursday and we are heading into town today. We've got an appointment with the border... What are they called? Border Force. Border Force. Border Patrol, I don't know. We're going to go get our passport stamped. So we're leaving the country. We are leaving Australia and we're heading to Indonesia in the next couple of days. So. We're gonna go and check out. Peace. So today we are just working on the boat because it is not raining and we're just doing all the touch-ups. So let's go see what everyone else is doing. Okay. Oh yeah. So mum and dad and um, mum and Taj are just working on the side here. Just doing something. And me and Dad are going to be in the boat. And that's what he wants. So tell me what you're doing today, Daddy. Oh, we're just having a quick little tidy up. I'm just scratching off with a few little bubbles where the paint lets go. Just give a little quick from front to back, a little touch up with paint here and there. No blisters, just paint letting go. Just old age. Just try and keep it tidy as we can. Keep on top of it. So it doesn't look like crap. <laughs> okay, so one of the things before Indonesia that I didn't get around to doing was getting a filter um, for our diesel. So apparently through Indonesia you can get a lot of bad fuel. So I didn't get around to it, but um, Mayra and Simon off Red Dragon, Red Dragon, Red, Red Dragon Fly, um, came over the other day and said, "Lee, I think you'll need this for Indonesia." And apparently, you get them off eBay. It's a five micron filter. So we pour any fuel through this first, and obviously see what the quality's like before you put it into your tank, sort of thing. Well, if it doesn't go through there, that's no good. Um, and also, we uh, didn't have transport, so they went down to Bunnings and bought us some um, pipe and some fittings, end cap, and a drainer. So that will actually sit into our fill um, port on the boat. And I'll show you once we put it all together, you put an end cap on, screw cap, and then it's all self-contained. But uh, thanks guys. Yeah, cheers guys, that was really helpful. Hopefully uh, save getting any bad fuel through Indonesia. Because when are we leaving, babe? Oh, tomorrow. We have, uh, we went to immigration, or what are they, border force yesterday, and we've yep. got our passports cleared, or they didn't stamp them, because they don't do that anymore. Yep. <laughs> the kids are really disappointed. <laughs> wanted to stamp on their passport. Anyway, um, we're ready. We can leave whenever we want. So we're heading off tomorrow. Oh. Hopefully we've got winds behind us. So here we have our little contraption that we made up at Fenny Bay. Pretty simple, just take off the fill cap, insert the uh, unit into the hole, and if you've got someone to hold onto it, by all means use them, otherwise a little bit of rope, stop it swinging around. And, um, open up the valve and we remove the fill cap at the top here. I usually run a little bit of lanolin around the top of it, just stops it getting caught with the um, diesel effects, the rubbers. Um, we've got the 5 micron filter there. Um, we pull that out of the tube and uh, ready to fill. Fill to your heart's content. Job done. So just about ready to leave? 
They'll only just got the outboard off the tender, so we're not going to leave the tender on. Um, oh, we're not going to leave the motor on the tender as we go across. So we're just going to put it on the rail. But we're getting ready, and as soon as we can, we'll head off and start our passage. So last sunset in Australia. We leave Australian waters tomorrow. Our flags. <laughs> so we have two options. This size. Um, <laughs> or, or gigantic. I just clicked on the 40 to 50 foot size boat. I don't have to use this as a bed sheet or not. So Lee ordered this, the ensign flag online, and we got it today, and um, it's Apparently pretty big. you got to fly a red ensign flag. No, they say and either red or blue. Don't have to. Yeah. A certain size. A little confused, but. Yeah, we we don't have anything in between. We've got a little one, or we've got a giant. One. <laughs> and today. We are actually leaving Australia, so it's a really exciting day. We're um, leaving Darwin and heading to Indonesia, Kupang. Kupang. So we should be approximately, I think it's 450 nautical miles over. And yeah, we're guessing it's going to take about five to seven days. So depending on winds and things like that, it is, uh, the winds have changed and it's kind of dropped off. So. We'll have to wait and see. So we just had some really lovely people drop over. Rebecca and her dad came by to say hello. Uh, they live here in Darwin. And Rebecca dropped off some things for the kids, which is really sweet. Um, yeah, so uh, that was really nice. It was really nice to meet you guys. And we wish we were kind of hanging around longer so we could have chatted more and you guys could have come and had a look at Catalpa. But um, yeah, we just wanted to say thank you for that. We head off around lunchtime. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. So we were just really excited and um, everything's kind of been against us and we finally got to the point where we were like, let's go. Let's leave Australia, let's head to Indonesia and um, everything else will work itself out. And Lee just went to turn the motor on and didn't go again. So, um, I don't know what we're doing. Just feel... Real crap. So I just woke up. Yesterday the motor wouldn't start and I um, we were all a bit devastated. And then it started and we're not sure Lee knows it was related to the solenoid but um, we hadn't started it for like a week so maybe it just sat and just needed to um, go again but yesterday we had a bit of a panic thinking you know should we be going should we be getting a spare solenoid or a spare starter battery or what is it star motor um and then it was started late Saturday afternoon so nothing was open no one we couldn't ring anybody we've checked out of the country so you know we're supposed to be gone by monday it's sunday today and we all freaked out yesterday afternoon and um we put it down to if the motor starts this morning we're gonna go so when it started yesterday it was it just started every time we started about 10 times stopped it left it started again started again started every time so Lee kind of thinks it's because we hadn't started the motor for a little bit something you know was stuck or whatever but we've come to the decision um, and yes, there'll probably be comments below after our decision, but you know what? We've got to a point where we need to leave and Lee feels that it will be okay and we will get a starter motor somewhere along the line, so we'll organise that somehow. And um, yeah, we've just got to go. So we've come this far, we're going to keep continuing on and as long as the motor starts right now. So we've we've left it up to the universe to say, if we're not supposed to leave, it won't start. And if it goes, we're gonna push off. Pull the anchor, head to Indonesia. So, 
We're about to turn the key, we don't know if it starts or not. We're kind of freaking out. Well, I'm kind of freaking out. Um, so we're going to turn the key now. I'm going to keep the camera on my face so you can see it because it's either going to be excited or devastated. And it's pretty funny. Either way. Here we go. All comes all thanks to you all All thanks to y'all